Okay, so first of all, select everything and go to insert and insert a chart. Then to make a secondary axis, double click on one of the lines and change it to the secondary axis. The grey and the orange line are still both on the primary axis and we need to move these two lines closer together. And we will do that by creating an adjusted data set. So I will take all of these numbers here and minus 50 from them and double click to send it down. Then select the grey line and drag the blue box into the next column. So we are now plotting the adjusted data. Adding and subtracting will bring the two lines closer together, but it doesn't actually change the variation between the data points. In order to increase or decrease the variation, you have to multiply or divide the numbers. So we will also divide these numbers by 2 and then double click to send it down. And this takes a little bit of trial and error. Now the grey and the blue line are overlapping. So to fix this, I will change the maximum and minimum of this axis. I will change the minimum to 5 and the maximum to 35. To make a third axis, what I'm going to do is make a fake data set and then format it to look like an axis. So for the third axis, all of the x values need to be the same because I want it to be a vertical line and I want the axes on the left hand side. So I'll make the x values the minimum value here, which is the 10th of March. Then for the third axis, I need the y values to be the same values as the axis labels here. So they will be 5 and 10. And then I'll select both of these and drag it down to 35. Then select the date and hold down control and drag this down the same number of rows. Then select the chart and right click and select data and add in this new series of data. So these will be the x values and these the y values. And OK. And then if I double click on this data here, you can see it's been plotted on the secondary axes. So change this to the primary axes and then right click and add data labels. Select the data labels and move them to the left so they look like axes labels. However, these are the wrong numbers because I want this axis here to show the values for the gray data and we have adjusted these values. So we need to do the opposite of whatever we did here to the y values. So here we minus 50 and then divided by 2. So over here we will times by 2 and then plus 50. And we'll drag that down. Then select the data labels and change it from the y value to the value from cells and select these cells and OK. If you don't have value from cells as an option, you'll need to double click on each of the data labels individually, go to the formula bar, type equals, and then select the cell with the number in it that you want and press enter. Now we'll format this line to make it look like an axis. So change the line to grey and then change the marker option. You can choose none to have no markers or choose built in and then have a dashed marker to make it look like tick marks. And then I'll increase the size of this and remove the border and change the fill to grey. And now we have something that looks like an axis. I'll also change the font here to grey and make it bolder and bigger. 
Now I want to add in an axis title here. So select the chart and go to insert and insert a text box and draw it out here. Then the axis title is going to be this column heading here and we'll rotate the text upwards, decrease the font size and change it to gray and then position this next to the gray axes. And I will now format the other two axes so they look the same. Then delete the grid lines and the final step is to fix the X axis down here to remove this part of the line. To do that, we're going to make another fake data set and use it to replace the X axis. So this time, all of the Y values need to be the same because we want a horizontal line and they all need to be five because that's the minimum value on the primary axes. Then for the X values, they need to start wherever this gray line is. So that's the 10th of March. And then increase in regular intervals. So I will add five on to this and then drag it down. Then I will change the X axis maximum and minimum. I'll make the maximum the 30th of March and then change the minimum and increase it by one. And drag this down here so it fills the same number of rows. Then select the chart and right click and select data. Then add in this new fake X axis. These are the X values and these are the Y values. And OK and OK again. And then this has been plotted on the secondary axis again. So we'll change it to the primary axis and then right click and add data labels, select the data labels and change them from the Y value to the X value. I'll just quickly format these so they show the day and the month. Then move the labels to below the line. Now we no longer need the actual X axis, so we'll delete this. That expands the chart slightly, so I'll make it a bit smaller. Then select the line and we'll format this to make it look like an axis. So we'll change the line color to black and change the marker option. And this time we will make them crosses and then increase the size a little bit and increase the border and change the border color to black. And we're trying to make the horizontal part of the cross the same thickness as the rest of the line so that they blend in. And then I don't really want the crosses at either end, so I will double click on the marker and then change the marker option to none. And I'll do the same thing at the other end. And then finally, we need to delete the fake axes from the legend. So just double click on the legend and delete each of the labels. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a chart with three axes in Excel, and that is everything.